guys, what is going on? It is Silios, and welcome back to the Enchanted Silios YouTube channel. Uh, if you don't know me, hi, my name is Silios, and I create videos revolving around VR chat modeling content and creating avatars, creating assets, the whole shebang. So today we're going to be doing part two. So if you haven't seen part one, uh, in part one we created this cute little top. So uh, part two is going to be creating the skirt. And I've decided I'm going to try to create things with a different object every time. So today I'm going to be making a skirt with a cylinder because it makes the most sense. So let's go ahead and get into it. But uh, just to point out, if you have any other video recommendations, uh, go down to the link in the description and join the VR Chat School of Blender in Unity. I am working with a few other people to create content for you guys. And if you have any recommendations, you can go ahead and put it in that server and I will kind of add it to like a, a kind of pile it into a list and try to make as many videos as I can. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of background noise. Uh, I just moved rooms. I've been trying to answer that in the comments. Uh, I just moved spaces. so. I have my boyfriend right next to me. He's downstairs playing Baldur's, uh, Baldur's Gate or something on the PS5 right now. So I'm taking the moment by myself in my new space to work on it. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to bore you guys too much with an intro. So to begin, you're going to go ahead and hit Shift A. Of course. Okay. You're going to go ahead and hit Shift A and you're going to add a cylinder as that is what we are using this time. And it's going to add this giant object. Now, you can mess around with this stuff. Um, if I go ahead and rewind and re-add it, you can mess around with uh, this stuff over here, uh, mess around with how many points you have um, and stuff like that. I'm going to keep it down to like 16 because we're going to subdivide it. So. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go hit three. So A, we're going to hit, we're going to hit tab, sorry. We're going to hit tab and we're going to go into edit mode and then we're going to hit three. So we go into face mode and that's not the three on the numpad section. That's the three on top of where you're kind of working. Um, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab both the faces right here and you're going to hit X and that'll bring up delete and you're going to delete faces and that'll delete your main faces. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back into when I hit one and that'll take us back into vertice mode and we're going to select our top half and we're gonna size it. Size it right on down, okay? And hit G and Z and an S to size and that'll move it to the waist, and we're just trying to create a rough estimate of the waist right now, okay? And we're going to move this up a little bit, and we're going to size it down too, and we're going to try to kind of map out where we want it to end. So we're going to hit G, Z, and it looks like it ends right about there, right? So, yeah, we're going to pull it like that. And I know you guys are like, it's clipping so bad right now, but ignore that. We're going to deal with that in a second. So. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to set this first segment. So we're going to hit Alt, okay, and that'll grab the whole line, okay. And then we're going to go ahead and go up here, and you're going to hit Checker Deselect, okay. And that will uh, deselect uh, them in a checker formation so that when we size it, it'll size out like that. So we're going to size it out. Okay, and you can size it out as much as you want. And it's gonna look like this, and it's gonna look really wonky at first, but I promise you, once we add some stuff to it, it'll look a lot less wonky. Now, again, it's not gonna look exact. You're never gonna get exactly what you want with your picture. This is just how I learned to do it. Um, but we're also gonna go ahead and um, bring this up. And then I'm gonna bring this piece down a little bit, just to kind of create a little waistband for us and obviously if we do shade smooth um, it's not completely smooth right now but now that we've added and made this little dress shape okay we're gonna go ahead and go to add modifiers and we are going to go ahead and um, put down our subdivision modifier and obviously you, you see that changes it so so much um, just in in passing and if we add two, 
right there. As you can see, we are starting to get kind of that shape that we're looking for, that really nice shape. So again, we're going to kind of And we're just going to size it to try to create the best kind of shape possible. And then we're going to hit control R and that'll add a loop cut. And we can just add as many loop cuts as we feel necessary. I don't think we need that many. I think four will suffice because obviously it's going to be subdivided and um, that'll change the look of it. But boom, we now have a skirt and it's a pretty decent looking skirt already. Um, but we're going to go ahead and quickly convert this to a mesh. And this is what we are working with. And now, obviously it's still clipping a lot. We're still going to use to sculpt it. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit two. Okay. And we're going to go into edge select mode and I'm going to grab where that waistband used to be. And I'm going to alt click it to grab the whole line. And we're going to do this to, to bring it in a little bit just to mark that it's an edge there and then we're going to mark as a sharp doesn't look like it's done anything right but if we go to shade auto smooth and then bring it up to 180 as you can see we now have a nice cute little indent right where that sharp is and that will help us to really create that illusion so that's what we're going to be doing after we're done with our sculpting so Obviously, you guys know the drill when it comes to sculpting. We are trying to get the basic outline of the body perfect and just trying to get the basic look. Now, you can push this in if you want. I'm going to keep it out for one simple reason, and that reason is because I'm going to uh, show you guys how to rig um, later in this series, and so because I'm showing you guys how to rig, I'm going to go ahead and keep these for potential bones. But what I am going to do is, I feel like this is not, like it's, it's a little bit too long, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into face select too, and I'm just going to like... Alt select the faces, right, and just delete them until I get the size skirt that I want, which is like, I think right there should be good. You can also add, if I turn this down a little bit, a little cloth. And that will also give you kind of that look and it'll help to kind of pull this down and just give it a better cloth look. Like make it look more like that like classic like ruffle style as long as garment. And just pulling this around until it gets to that more like freestyled. Edge that we like. And this will allow you to kind of get the more um, marvelous designer kind of look like more of like a cloth simulation kind of thing but then we're going to go in with the, the smooth tool and uh, smooth out the major stuff just to keep it from getting like too rowdy too out of hand but we still want to keep it like relatively and then I'm going to turn off mirroring and um, and there we go. 
And once again, I'm going to go back into edge select mode, just like we did earlier. Pull this in very slightly and then mark it as a sharp. And then get out of this mode. Auto smooth. And you can see, I'm trying to make the, the line more prominent. And then just pull. pull. Pull it out with sculpt mode too. There we go. And then I'm going to add a little bit on the other side to try to give it some of its shape back. And just use the smooth tool to smooth for the waistband because it got a little rowdy. the cloth simulator tool there we go so yeah that is our skirt really really simple it's really easy um the skirt is probably one of the easiest things to sculpt the issue starts to arise when you're weight painting it skirts can are notoriously hard to weight paint and kind of set up that way. So I will be showing you a tutorial on how to do it two different methods. So one is rigging the skirt with each individual bone and the second will be rigging the skirt uh, just to the body with weight painting. But I hope you enjoyed the video for what it's worth. I know this is quite a short one to kind of ease us back into it, but I figured uh, we might as well give you guys a nice short um, simple little video just to continue our outfit. I know some people were asking for it. So I hope you enjoyed the video for what it's worth. I'm probably going to go and continue sculpting it on my own time. Again, um, if you want it to be more form fitting, like obviously it's not very form fitting right here. Um, you just use sculpt mode and you sculpt it in. And what I like to do is I like to sculpt it in until it begins to clip and then carefully pull everything out like that and it looks a lot better now a lot more form fitting now obviously you can't really push it in much this way but you know you win some and you lose some anyway i hope you enjoyed this short but sweet video on how to make a skirt in blender if you feel i went too fast feel free to watch it at half speed or uh join the discord if you have any sort of questions with um the way we make things thank you guys so much for watching again all of this stuff will be in the links in the description from my shops so if you want to see other things that i create in my spare time to my own personal discord that i am working on i can't wait to see you guys all in the next video bye everybody